You can see in the figure on this side that the horizontal mass spring system contains a block of mass M attached to one end of the spring. The other end of the spring is attached to a fixed support. The block is kept on a smooth frictionless surface. If the spring is stretched or compressed through a small distance x from its mean position, the spring pulls or pushes this mass with a force F. According to Hooke's law, the amount of this force is directly related to the change in length of the spring, represented by x, which means that the larger the distance, the greater the amount of force it exerts. The relation derived from this system is force F equals to minus k multiplied by x, where x is the displacement of the mass from its mean main position O, as you can see in the figure and k is the quantity known as the spring constant. The value of k can be calculated from the relation k is equals to minus f upon x, where the value of k is the measure of the stiffness of the spring, which means that stiff or hard springs have a larger value of k, while soft springs have a small value of k. Now moving back to Hooke's law which states that f is equal to minus k multiplied by x. Does anyone remember Newton's second law? We studied another definition of force in that law. What is it? Yes, f is equal to mass m multiplied by acceleration a. By comparing Hooke's law and Newton's second law, we get ma equals to minus kx, where k becomes equal to minus ma upon x. If we solve this for acceleration a, this becomes minus k multiplied by displacement x whole upon mass m. Here, k upon m is a constant. So, if we remove this fraction of k upon m and equals to sine, we get the proportionality sign, which leads us to the result that acceleration a is directly proportional to minus of x which means that acceleration of a mass attached to a spring is directly proportional to its displacement from the mean position. This means that the direction of the acceleration is always directed towards the displacement x. The negative sign means that the acceleration of the spring is always directed opposite to the displacement of the mass. This system fulfills two out of four basic requirements of simple harmonic motion that are acceleration depends upon displacement and the direction of acceleration is always towards the mean position respectively.